What is up you guys? Welcome back to Aaron Talon channel. Sometimes I ask myself, is something wrong with me? Am I just the cutest little angel you've ever seen? But you guys, um, today I'm gonna be filming my thousand step skincare routine. And I wanted to do my own rendition of full beauty secret videos because I love seeing one skincare videos, beautiful women talking about skincare videos. And do y'all wanna know the even crazier thing is, is that like, I think that that's like my most watched type of videos is beauty secret skincare videos by beautiful, amazing women. And so I was wondering one day, I was like, why don't they ever have any men do it? So I'm here representing representing the men who also is infatuated with skincare. So I'm going to be showing you guys tonight my beautiful face tutorial. Uh, my face is definitely touched by God in the heavens, but sometimes I get this. And sometimes I look at my pimples as my biggest haters, but you know, they can be my little friend for right now. But yeah, you can see guys, I'm gonna show you guys my night routine first because my skincare routine is different from in the morning and at night. Sorry, I'm really nervous. All right, I love you guys. So you guys, um, normally I start my skincare routine off first with my reindeer ears. Um, I also have like bunny ears, but I just don't know where they are. First step, I guess, making sure you get your hair out of your way. Um, and a lot of people ask me like, what has gotten me into skincare? And the biggest skincare for me is, and like what got me really into it is, is that like I'm putting energy towards my self care. If I'm taking that time throughout the day to make sure that like I'm straight, I like to use skincare and stuff like that as a form of like meditation and um, just, you know, I'm putting energy into my face. Um, but yeah, so next thing, next step I do is make sure that I wash my hands. I'm not in my bathroom. I am in one of my friend's bathrooms, but I really wanted to film a video like this, you guys, because it's cool. I feel like the biggest miss about me is my personality. Um, I feel like it's so many layers to my personality because one minute I'm calm, really collected like this. Next minute I'm like, what did you say, boy? Or like, I just have so many different layers to my personality. And so I feel like the main thing is just being able to be comfortable with all the different sides of you. Cause all the different sides of you is essentially just you. And that's me, for example. Like sometimes when I'm around, like for example, whenever I'm around like my principal, I'm different from when I'm around my friends. Sometimes when I'm around my friends, I'm different from whenever I'm completely alone or I've been alone for like a week. You know, just being able to be comfortable with yourself no matter where you are is the biggest thing. So like, you know, some friends I have, like I show them all sides of me. Like they, they know all sides of me. And then some friends only know like one or two sides of me. But you guys, for the most part, you guys know majority. Like, you know like four out of the five. You you know like four out of the 10 areas. No, you may maybe know like six. You know, I like to keep a little bit of me to myself because I'm not, okay, sorry. Okay, next up you guys is cleanser. Uh, make sure you're cleansing your face and make sure you're washing your hands. Um, You, you see how I just did three pumps? I shouldn't have done that. I should have only did one. I've been practicing that. I'm just, um, you know, really in the mood to do my skincare routine and just, oh wait, I did the wrong step. Okay, so you guys, don't be mad at me, please. So I'm cleaning my face right now with um, a water-based cleanser. It's a gentle facial cleanser. And this is like for, you know, it removes like dirt, stuff like that off of your face. But I was supposed to use my oat cleansing balm to make sure that I am all the germs out of my face. I mean, I was supposed to use my oat cleansing balm to make sure that I'm removing makeup out of my face. It removes makeup, sunscreen, and bacteria out of your face. And then this second cleanser really makes sure that your skin is as clean as possible. So that's why I normally like to double cleanse. And double cleanse is another way to decrease acne. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but for some reason, I am in love with skincare. I'm in love with making myself feel as confident as possible. So yeah, let me wash this off real quick. So I just washed that off. And so now I'm gonna go in with this, my oat cleansing balm. You can really use any type of balm or cleansing oil to um, remove makeup and cleanse your, like, you know, your skin. And I know this is really good about the ink list for like sensitive skin. And I really just like the consistency of it. And it just feels really like just like I'm taking a deep breath and like I'm just, you know, just getting myself ready for bed. You know what another thing is that really helps your skin? It's sleep. I feel like um, somebody like me, I have really bad nighttime anxiety. 
Meaning that like, I've really made this up on my own, but I also know, I think it's called like, I call it nighttime anxiety because like, I don't think it's necessarily insomnia, just me, my personal like thoughts on it. Cause I haven't done much research on it. Um, But it's more like whenever you, it's time for you to go to bed. As soon as you turn the lights off, it's completely dark. And so since I'm not like right away sleepy, I get consumed by the darkness sometimes. And I personally don't like that type of stuff. So that's why I be like, what's going on? I be like, I'm not scared of nobody in the dark. Sorry, I watch a lot of TikTok. And so, depending on who my favorite TikToker is, that's who humor I have. And so sometimes whenever I spend a lot of time alone and I'm not on TikTok, I be creating small little sayings on my own. And so like, I don't know, like, that's like a very like, it's just a very like crazy thing. Like sometimes I'll be talking a certain way one week, next week I'm saying something totally different. And then I'll be forgetting that not everyone understands how my brain works. So I'll really go up to someone and be like, like, sit, like I'll be saying like something crazy. And then they be looking at me like, what is this kid talking about? I'll see you guys after I get out the shower because normally, at nighttime, I wash this off. I wash, I watch this off of my face. See you guys, afterwards, I'm about to brush my teeth because I normally do that too before I get in the shower because like when I get out of the shower, I'm cold. Like I be like freezing cold. So I'm about to go over my phone and I'll see you guys afterwards. <laughs> what is it, you guys? I just got out of the shower. You know, I spent the time in the shower praying and just you know asking for positivity. Um, another thing that has really helped my skin um, is being positive, taking care of myself mentally. Because when you take care of yourself mentally, you won't stress, you won't have anxiety. Like I'm not saying you won't have it like, as in like ever, but like it kind of alleviates it in the moment sometimes. Like when you take that extra breath, when you take that time for yourself, it, really, it, it lessens the stress on your body. Because let me tell you something, I've learned this so many different things, but when your body's in stress, you're putting your body through like a panic. Like your body be sometimes thinking that you're dying. And so they're sending like so much stuff that's just going on inside of you that like it stresses your skin. Cause your, sk your skin is your biggest organ. <laughs> Let me look that up. I'm not looking that up, but just know, I think your skin is your biggest organ. So like, imagine like when you're stressed out, what do you think your biggest organ is doing? Your skin, the blood is the blood and the blood and the cells are just going and fast and fast and fast. And your cells are just running out of place like this. Your cells are running skin. But sometimes also too, Acne can be genetics. Um, it also can be caused by, I think, like by some stuff that you eat, but I know that y'all probably like, what does this kid know about this stuff? But I actually do to spend a lot of time researching this stuff. And I also just take a lot of time for myself. Sometimes in the morning, I do sometimes rush myself sometimes, but you know, sometimes skincare helps me just say like, calm down, boy. So with that being said, um, I like to take the extra stuff with my skin because growing up, even now, um, my insurance, I have like state insurance, like whatever the bare minimum insurance is, I get it through the state. And so whenever it's time for me to go and get like skincare products, when it's time for me to get therapy, like I've literally been trying to get therapy for the last like year, and a, like the last like six months to, the, to a year. And every therapist place I call, they be like, oh, we don't accept your insurance. Oh, like you have to pay out of pocket. I don't be having money like that. I don't have no money for you. I don't have no money. So what I've been, what I took, I took it into my own hands to get, um, to start doing, my own skincare stuff to, to buy like products and stuff. And I have so many products, but um, I'm so glad that fortunately my insurance paid for this stuff. I think I paid like 10 bucks, but this is clindamycin. I got this from my doctor. I said, normally what I do is you have to wait till your skin is dry. Um, I normally apply it like in like where my dark spots are and like where I have like pimples and stuff. And y'all, it kind of burns sometimes, but I'm telling you y'all like, like you know how normally you have bumps on the side of your like nose and stuff. Mine's are gone. I also put it right here too, because sometimes doctor, when I, no, no, no. When I go to the barber and when I get my skin, what is the word I'm trying to say? When I get my, well, when I get my mustache shaved down, um, it like opened my, pores up even more and like sometimes I get like little bumps. But I normally just let my barber shave my mustache because growing up, like I didn't really have like a father figure that was stable enough in my life to the point to where like they could teach me like small things like shaving, fixing a flat tire, stuff like that. That's TMI, but you know, I've been telling myself recently though, though, because like I really think a lot about my YouTube channel and I'm like, I'm, I'm so excited to like post more and grow. I'm not here to be relatable. I'm not here to be like this model of a person. I'm really here to just to be myself. Like I feel like a lot of people get wrapped up in the like wrapped up in like the idea of like trying their hardest to be relatable, trying their hardest to do that stuff, trying to keep up with everybody, trying to keep up with culture. I'm not doing all of that. I think I just want to be myself, and that's what I've been doing. Like I just become more and more myself with every video, and you know, yeah, that's me. So if you see me like this sometimes, when I'm really calm. You see me crazy with my friends. You see me doing crazy stuff, or you see me doing really calm, not mental health stuff. I'm being me, just being me. Oh, let me show you guys my planners. Cause a lot of people don't know this, but 
I journal a lot. Um, this is what I use. This is what I try to look at every day. It's my affirmation cards. And so this one right here says, <clears throat> I bring my positive vibe and a big smile wherever I go. You know, I try to keep the positivity flowing. This is my more like free for all journal where I just really write freely about my feelings. This is my like five minute journal. And then this is my like work journal where I write down like YouTube ideas. Um, if I get on a call with like a company or coming up with merch ideas, stuff like that. Um, so next you guys, um, I go in with my Retin-A. This is a uh, retinoid. And whenever I did skincare research, I noticed that actives, actives like retinoids, actives like benzoyl peroxide, and it's a, it's a bunch of others. I can't think of them off the top of my head. These are the main acne fighting ingredients. So I noticed that once I started using this, my skin really like cleared up. I know you're supposed to take a pea sized amount. I have a really big face. So what I do is however much is coming out automatically, I'll put my hand right here. And that's a lot. This is a lot. I'm not gonna lie, this is a lot. And I also take whatever is in this cap because I'm trying to get all my money. I need the money. Um, I'm trying to make sure I spread it. Even though I put like a little one right there. Should I rub this in? I feel like taking care of your skin is a big responsibility. But what I, what I love most about my skincare routine is it's the it's it just teaches me a lot of self discipline within myself. So like I know like if I can do my skincare every day, I mean I can go work out every day. If I can do my skincare every day, I can film videos when I need to upload them consistently. Like it's just like I used to always tell myself that I wasn't uh, consistent enough. With, I, I thought I was the most inconsistent person in my life. But then I just had to start looking at the small habits that I do perform pretty consistently. And it's like, I really do my skincare routine every day, every night. I don't miss it. Because without my skincare routine being done, I personally feel incomplete, you know? I feel, I'm so happy that I feel incomplete whenever I'm not taking care of myself. Like, I feel like that is always the goal for me. Like, I'm always, I always should be doing stuff that I love to do. It makes me happy. Also, I love you, all of you guys too that be tuning into my videos. Like, it really means a lot to me. Like, I don't know, like, sorry. I don't want to get like emotional, but you no, know, I haven't always had like the best, like just in my life. But I feel like whenever I'm talking to you guys, I feel really free being myself. And I feel like I've worked my whole life. I've only been on here this earth for 18 years and like two months, but I feel like I worked my whole life to be able to be as free as possible with my friends, family, and yeah. Um, so did my skincare routine. I did that. I did the, I forgot what I was about to say. Sorry, I, I be getting a little forgetful whenever I'm emotional. But you guys, this is the moisturizer that I use. This is the Song Jung Two Times Extensive Cream, which is one of my favorite products, bro. Um, let me show you guys. So I normally only use like about that much. Look, you guys, I normally do like a decent amount of this. But the thing I love most about this moisturizer is, it makes my skin feel really like good, bro. Like, I love it. Like, let me show you guys. Yeah. What's this? It's like a skincare video. Yup, you see how the skin is glowing. You have nice skin. Death, soap, water, aquaphor. He's, he's crazy. So you guys, I just finished putting on the moisturizer, but look at my eyelashes. A lot of people like compliment them and I be using the Grande Lash Serum too. Sometimes on my skin, because I remember one girl, I remember when girls would always compliment my eyelashes. I think that's, I think that's like the best compliment. Like when people tell me like I have a good vibe and that they like my eyelashes, like I think that's like, so sometimes I'll put this on and I used to be really ashamed to show people this. I don't know why I do it wrong sometimes to so put it like a little bit right here. Um, this Fenty skin like eye cream, you know, I like to support black owned businesses. And yeah, you guys, that's my skincare routine for the night. Do more of this type of stuff. I just don't be knowing like how to, but you guys don't worry. I'm getting consistent. In order for me to be consistent on YouTube, I need to be consistent in real life. So that's really what I've been trying to like, you know, handle like my real life. I've actually been reading this book called Atomic Habits and it's been really showing me that like, you know, we automatically have like certain habits that we instill on ourselves. And I feel like I want to make YouTube like a habit. Good night, you guys, or good morning, or however you're doing. I love you guys so much. That is my skincare routine. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching.